leg day today. We just did our warm up and we got really tired. Like. Hey guys, good morning. I hope everyone slept well yesterday. Um, I couldn't vlog in the morning because I was a little busy with a few things. Um, and right now I have to go shopping, so I'm on my way. I have gym in the evening. I missed gym yesterday, so um, I have to go today. And I'll be doing cardio before I leave the house, and then I'll go there and lift weights. So I mentioned yesterday that I've been doing this thing called the intermittent fast. Now the details of all of that will be left in the description below so you can check it out and uh, you can do your own research. Like I mentioned previously, I'm not a fitness guru and I don't feel comfortable giving you guys uh, information. I, I can only give you my opinion. So I'm going to leave links below so you can do your own research. So I've been doing that today. Anyway, so uh, I'm on my way for grocery shopping and I'll catch you guys later. Bye! Hey guys, so I just got back home and I'm going to go and do a little bit of workout. I'm going to do a, maybe a 15 minute HIIT workout and then I'm going to leave for the gym. So I forgot to mention what I had for lunch uh, and for breakfast and stuff like that. So I have been doing this intermittent fast thing where I don't eat during the day and I have food exactly after 16 hours. So it's going to go up to 2500 calories. If you eat 2500 calories, I basically stick to 2000 sometimes 1,500 to 2,000 because I don't think I can eat that much. So the benefits of intermittent fasting and everything will be in the description, you can check it out. I had some rice and pulses that was really filling, I'm still really full from it. I think it's because of the fasting your stomach kind of shrinks and you get full faster because I got really full very fast. I didn't eat as much as I normally would. I've been drinking a lot of water, a lot of green tea and herbal tea and that's really helping my digestion. My tummy is my tummy just seems a lot flatter, I feel a lot lighter, so I think I'm going to continue with this and see how it works. Like I've mentioned before, this is just trial and error, I'm not telling you to do the same thing, this is just me sort of trying it out. So I'll keep you guys posted on whatever I'm doing, I'm going to go and work out now. Hey guys, so I'm on my way to the gym right now, I have my banana with me. I did uh, two workouts, I'll leave the links in the description below so you can check it out. I'm on my way to the gym. I am feeling a little tired actually. I don't know, I think I, I take too many breaks. And uh, But I am losing weight for sure. Like I'm, I'm definitely appearing a lot thinner. Even today my mom is telling me that a lot of my belly fat has gone down comparatively. Even my butt and like uh, my hips and stuff have narrowed down. Compared to what it used to be, it's a lot slimmer now. So I'm seeing progress. That's a good thing. I'll catch you guys once I get to the gym. So before I used to like not be able to do assisted pull-ups with 54, it used to be really heavy for me and now I went all the way up to 33 and that's some serious progress. Leg day today and uh, we just did our warm up and <laughs> we're already tired like my legs are already hurting. So we're gonna start off with squats, 15, 15, 20, 20, and then let's see. Hey guys, so we just got down with gym. Leg day was killer, I couldn't get much footage because like I was just too tired and Rahul was having fever and like Sneri was too tired as well so everyone was just like really really tired I'm walking back home right now the weather is nice so I'll catch you guys once I get home Hey guys so I just got back from the gym and it was so exhausting especially because I missed two weeks of leg day so it was really hard to sort of get back into the same form but I'm walking my way up and um, so I did like about 40 minutes of walking cardio because I, I walked to and from the gym so it was about like 40 minutes and then we did like a bunch of squats and stuff like that but what made it really hard was the fact that I did my HIIT workout right before I went to the gym so that made it really difficult I was already tired when I got to the gym so I think I'm gonna leave like at least an hour's gap so I'm able to sort of you know get my uh, breath back get my heart rate normal and then go to the gym but i will keep this in mind next time sort of like plan when to do my hrt workout and when to go to the gym and stuff like that so i'm gonna go and take a shower and just like sleep off anyway so you guys stay healthy stay motivated and i'll catch you guys tomorrow bye